Well, I'm at the age of 25 now, and I've been ministering since I was 14 years old. God has brought me through 26 operations. The doctors told my mother that I would never walk, that I would never talk, that I would be legally blind and wheelchair bound. But I tell folks everywhere we go and minister, and I minister in a lot of places. I tell them, they're not Dr. Jesus. Amen, God. that's right. Because God is the physician. He is the one that is in full control. And he's the one that has brought me where I am today. Through the 26 operations, wow. able to minister, able to sing, all for his honor and for his glory. The age of 16, uh, the, the left eye was enucleated due to retinal detachment. They could not repair it. They had to completely take it out. The doctor came in that day and he looked at me bed and he said, Mr. Wilson, he said, there's no hope for the retina in the left eye. He said, we're going to have to completely remove it. He said, because if we keep it in, it's just going to keep you sick. I looked at him and I said, well, I'll have a glorified body and a brand new eye when I get to heaven. Yeah. And he said, if half of my patients had as much faith as what you've got, I'd feel better about doing the operation. And this is a song that I wrote after that uh, surgery because, you know, the Bible tells us to rejoice during the death and to cry when a baby is born. That's right. Because we're in the flesh, we do just the opposite of what the Bible says to do. And as they were pre oping me for surgery, these were the last words that I told my mother and my grandmother. I said, if I don't make it through this surgery, you just remember that I'm going to heaven and remember my love. That's the title of this song. And it's called Remember My Love. It's from the Somebody's Prayer CD. Uh, I want to do it in a cable book. Okay. If you got one. 